Hear these words from Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the counsel of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered, and the Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the lands of other nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever, enacted in faithfulness and uprightness. He provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and who follow his precepts have good understanding. Him belongs eternal praise.
worship team, thank you so much for doing that set. I appreciate your hard work, and I also appreciate your family jumping in there and accompanying you. You guys sounded great. I would like to open up with a word of prayer, and then I would like to share with you guys something the Lord has uh, laid on my heart to share with you. God, I ask that you be with our time right now, Lord. I thank you uh, for your son, Jesus, and I thank you for the peace that he does give to us, uh, especially in these times where it's just uncertain what's happening. Lord, I ask you to just be with our school right now, Lord, as we're, our doors are closed, but our learning continues, Lord. I ask you to be with the teachers. Lord, I ask you to be with the students as we um, learn a different way. And Lord, I ask you to just be with our time apart, Lord. Uh, God, I ask you to just help us uh, to get through these times. And I thank you for being our Savior, Lord. I thank you for being there for us no matter what. God, give us a great uh, time together. I thank you for your son, Jesus, and I ask all these things in his name. Amen. So we live in a world today that's a little bit different than it was three, four weeks ago. In fact, that we aren't in school. Um, we can't really get out. Uh, can't go to the mall. Can't do movies. We can't do any of that stuff right now. Why? Because we're in a shutdown, lockdown, um, because of this virus. Many people look at this virus and they say, how in the world are we going to recover from this? Is my job going to be there? Is my school going to be there? One thing that I'm going to be honest with you guys is I really don't worry about that. And one of the reasons why I don't worry about it is not because I have my head in the sand. It's because of I serve a God who I know is in control of everything. Some people might look and say, and might say to me, you're crazy. Um, you, you're just, a, you're just um, a person that doesn't um, put any faith and value into our medical world or, or the virus or whatever. I believe it's real. And I believe that people are suffering from it. So it's not that. But I believe that God is in control. And I believe God will help us get through this time. When you think of the word coronavirus, what do you think of? I think of a couple of different things. I think of social distancing. That for me has been very difficult. Not being able to be with you guys, not being able to be with my teachers, um, not being able to um, joke around and fool around like we normally have. Um, I miss that. And that's one thing that I um, am concerned about is not getting back together because I am a social person and I love hanging out with you guys and I love hanging out with our teachers. Um, but I know that God is in control. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, it gives a definition of Christ. And one of the uh, definitions that they give of him is the word Prince of Peace. Christ is total peace. And that's how I live right now. I'm in total peace because I know that he is in control. This week is a special week for us as Christians. It's a holy week. It's a week that we celebrate Christ coming uh, to earth, dying on this earth, uh, being buried, but then the greatest part of it, raising again to conquer death and to conquer fear and to conquer Satan. That is the biggest thing that I think that Mrs. Greenlee and I have talked about is one of the things that Satan wants us to do is he wants us to fear. He wants us to be anxious about what's going on. But God, through his death, burial, and resurrection, had conquered that fear. And as long as we keep Christ in our heart and first in our life, we don't have to fear anything. My encouraging word to you guys is, do you know Christ? Have you made him your personal savior? Because I think until you do that, you can't have ultimate peace. And that is one thing that I really enjoy about being a Christian. A lot of people say, what's so great about being a Christian? It's because times like today, I know that no matter what happens, God's got me. And no matter if and when this virus ends, God's going to be the same no matter what. And I thank him for that. I just wish and I hope and I pray that each one of you can have that peace. It's real easy to do it. It's real simple. All you got to do is make Christ first in your life. Have you done that? If you haven't, I would love to talk to you. You guys can email me, you can Zoom me, you can do whatever, but I know that Christ is in control. And if you want that ultimate peace, 
You just got to ask. Lord, I thank you for today. God, I ask you just bring peace to our country. Lord, bring peace and less worry to the people of this country, Lord. God, I thank you for being who you are. I thank you for being in control. And God, I ask that you continue to do that. Lord, I ask you to be with our time as we finish up with the next song, Lord. God, help us to focus on you. Help us to focus on your son, Jesus, who is the Prince of Peace. God, give us a great day. In your name we pray. Amen. One thing I want you guys to listen to is this next song. Tay's going to sing it for us. It's one of my favorite songs. It's called Mercy Tree. And the mercy tree is what Christ did for us. He died for us. But he didn't just die. He raised again. And that is the awesome, powerful word. Thanks, Tay. Hope to see you guys next week. We'll talk to you soon.